Hi, Caleb and Keith here with Brownells. Today we're back at Rock Island Auction Company bringing you another gun from the vault. So Keith, I'm gonna yeah. try not to quote any 90s movies, but what do we have here? Man, we have got the infamous Mac 10 right here. I Excellent. Mean, if you were doing action movies in late 70s, 80s, 90s, I mean Miami Vice TV series, Gang bangers, this was the gun that set them on fire right oh, of here. Course. I mean, it was a cool gun. I mean, it's just a simple gun, but just overall, yeah, if, if you were a bad guy, this is what you were portrayed as packing right here. Uh, this was developed by Gordon Ingram, and then uh, him and Mitch Werbel actually joined forces and went in together, and Werbel was doing the suppressor for this, which fairly large suppressor and right. hand hold and everything, but they were trying to get military contracts and okay. didn't didn't pan out what they were wanting. Uh, this chambered in 45 and is just a simple blowback design, open bolt right there. Right. It's a telescoping bolt like a Uzi. Right. That way it gives it a very compact but cheap to manufacture. Uh, you either had full or safe. There was no semi-automatic option for these. Uh, and if you take a look and look up Mitch Werbel, you'll see pictures of him demonstrating these in Vietnam during the Vietnam War. Uh, but just didn't pan out. Uh, law enforcement really wasn't that impressed with them. Uh, military wasn't, even though there were some units that used them, and there's still some in inventories here in the U.S. Uh, there's a couple at Herbert Air Force Base at the uh, Special Operations Wing down there. But, I mean, just cool. Has a little stock right here. Not very friendly, but. Yeah, not a very ergonomic yeah. gun. No. But it was cheap to manufacture and yeah. it worked. But you had it set up like that. And, but what's funny is that even though this didn't pan out, now the military is looking for compact subguns again. Right. So maybe it's a little bit ahead of its time, but still though, it's just just wasn't what they were looking for. Right. But yeah. If Chuck Norris and Bruce Willis <laughs> and all those guys, this was the gun right here. And if you ever saw any episodes of Miami Vice, you probably saw this probably two or three times. Oh in, yeah. In that. But yep. Now, uh, Military Armors Corporation Mac went out of business and around 1976, 77, somewhere right around in there. And these were selling for $25 a piece oh, wow. whenever they had to auction. I know a guy who bought 10 of these. And so, yeah, so this was a $25 investment then, and now it's worth about $8,500 to $10,000. Awesome. Yeah, that's crazy because the tax was more than what the gun cost. Yeah. But, yep, this, these were just a very neat little gun. Can't say that they're really useful but yeah they still have that <laughs> yeah, cool factor still have that cool factor yeah, absolutely and fold it up just uh and then push this button right here and now having this sling back here kind of doesn't work real good but there you go yep there we go but that is the mac 10 Excellent, yeah. Definitely has that cool factor. Yeah. Signature bad guy gun. <laughs> Not at all comfortable and er no. ergonomic, but it's simple, yeah. well built, and it worked. Yeah. yeah. Not just on TV. It, no, it, it worked. worked. Yeah. yeah. It was an excellent gun. That was, that was pretty much the spray and pray method right there. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Very simple sights, but very rugged, very solid. Yeah. Excellent piece. Another cool piece of history. Yep. So if you have any questions or comments you'd like to leave, feel free to leave us a comment down below. We'll be happy to hear from you. And again, we'd like to thank Rock Island for having us out here. And we'd like to thank you for watching. So join us next time when we bring you another gun from the vault.